died the first time I saw him. His skin had almost turned to stone. It was a beautiful day, but my heart was completely broken for him. He was so weak, he could barely take a few steps before needing a break. Hey, baby. But he managed to muster up enough energy to give me a lick on the cheek. It was like he was asking me to help. My husband and I took him home as a foster, and for the first few weeks, all Max wanted to do was sleep. He didn't want to be bothered, and honestly, I couldn't blame him. He had to have felt so bad, so tired, so weak. He needed all the rest he could get, so we just let him hang in his bed for a while. We quickly learned that Max had no basic knowledge of how to be a dog. He needed to relearn everything from scratch. Once he was feeling up to it, we worked with him every day. Getting his hair back, he's looking much better, following beauty everywhere. As he was starting to heal, we started seeing glimpses of his personality. He even gained enough confidence to run around the yard to say hi to our cows. We already had four other dogs in the house, but they absolutely adored Max. Every single one of them wanted to play with him. They accepted him right away. My dogs had a huge impact on Max by making him feel comfortable and showing him the ropes. Max, you ready for your green beans? You could physically see that a weight had been lifted off of him. It was amazing. You ready to eat? Go to your room. Wait. Okay, good boy. Good boy, Max. I remember one night, he just decided he'd come up and get on the couch. He came right beside me and fell asleep under a blanket. It was a huge turning point because it was his way of telling us that he trusted us and he knew we'd been there helping him. At this point, we were still just fostering, but there was just something about Max where all the signs were pointing towards us keeping him. When my husband's birthday was coming up, it was his idea to wait and make Max's adoption official on his birthday. It was the perfect day. It's been about half a year since Max came into our lives, and I can't believe how far he's come. He's completely transformed into this beautiful boy. Before, he was basically knocking on death's door, completely broken down, feeling hopeless. But today, he is the most outgoing, loving dog you could ever imagine. After everything he'd been through, he had every right to hate humans. But despite it all, Max has let go of everything, and he's decided to forgive. And that's something I will truly never forget.